Martin is managing diabetes. And we're fortunate to have again with us during the second segment to talk about some of the issues associated with uh, diabetes, uh, Ms. Consuela Green. And Ms. Green is a health worker at Meharry, uh, I'm sorry, at Matthew Walker Comprehensive uh, Health uh, Center. And of course, Ms. Green, uh, we might have confused uh, uh, Meharry and Matthew All Walker, right. but I think it's primarily because so many people understand yes. who Matthew Walker was and his connection with uh, Meharry Medical College. Definitely, and, and, and we've been around over mm -hmm. 30 years. We serve uh, not only the underserved, but we also serve the uninsured populations as mm -hmm. well as those who are able to pay for their uh, services. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we've been around, offer medical and dental services mm -hmm. for years. Very good. And so it's a very, very significant uh, institution within the African American community in Nashville, even though you've only recently moved into that uh, very, very spacious. Most definitely. You know I have to plug that yeah, in. Do that. Do that. We because, did. Yes. We just moved into our new facility. It's mm -hmm. a state-of-the-art facility. Good. Um, it's at 1035 14th Avenue North. It's mm -hmm. on a corner of Jefferson Street, mm -hmm. 14th Avenue North. So um, definitely, if you don't have a, a, a home, a medical home, mm -hmm. a dental medical home, you can contact us at 327 9400 and we will be more than happy mm -hmm. to serve you. You know, uh, Ms. Green, when we talk about uh, managing diabetes, and, and, and let's sort of uh, move it back into that direction, uh, let's talk about uh, the uh, disease itself. Okay. Uh, why don't you give our audience as much information as you care to give in terms of just uh, diabetes? Uh, Okay. Well, well, one of the things that I mentioned before we went on the break was that diabetes is a disease that affects the entire body. Um, it affects not only the pancreas, because that's where the, the inability to produce insulin um, comes in at, but also when you have high levels of blood sugar within your body, then it starts to affect other organs, such as your kidneys, your eyes, um, your circulation. And so you have a lot of, uh, of limbs being amputated, mm -hmm. uh, you have a lot of, uh, an increased number of people going blind because mm -hmm. of diabetes, mm -hmm. um, kidney dialysis, mm -hmm. you have a lot of people who are on kidney dialysis, and the interesting thing about this mm -hmm. disease is it doesn't just happen, mm -hmm. it's not contracted overnight like mm -hmm. HIV and AIDS, mm -hmm. but this is something that has been going on for years within your body, it mm -hmm. may have been lying dormant, mm -hmm. you may have been experiencing symptoms, and I'm going to talk about that in just a minute, mm -hmm. but that could have uh, been going on for years, and you not even know that you had this disease mm -hmm. and what happens is when we do go to the doctor mm -hmm. when when we do go to the physician it's when we have have the uh, complication mm -hmm. and so now you're experiencing a blurry vision and now you're experiencing kidney failure mm -hmm. renal failure mm -hmm. or now you have a black toe mm -hmm. and now they're going to have to amputate it and Good. so mm -hmm. we want to be a generation that just not responds or mm -hmm. reacts mm -hmm. to the complication but we respond when, when our body tells us because mm -hmm. we know our bodies mm -hmm. And I, we know when our bodies is, are telling us that something is going mm -hmm. on. And so it, immediately when we find that out, we want to make sure we do something about it. Mm -hmm. Now, as far as some of the symptoms, you know, mm -hmm. Um, let me back up there like two yeah. types mm -hmm. type 1 and type 2 type mm -hmm. 1 diabetes is mostly uh, those individuals who do not uh, make any insulin in their body and so these individuals their treatment will be um, mm -hmm. uh, their, their doctor will give them insulin mm -hmm. to help them um, mm -hmm. you find this normally within children mm -hmm. uh, we call it juvenile diabetes mm -hmm. and then there's type 2 diabetes which is the most common form mm -hmm. um, is found mostly in African Americans mm -hmm. and minority groups mm -hmm. um, type 2 diabetes is, is an adult onset diabetes and so you experience this you have you make either no or little insulin within your body mm -hmm. um, with type 2 uh, you can you can treat it several ways either with a pill or um, through your diet and exercise and that definitely mm -hmm. will have to come for the phys from the physician mm -hmm. and also you can treat it with insulin and so you have three different types of treatment scenarios mm -hmm. and then there's gestational diabetes and gestational diabetes is normally uh, in people of course who are pregnant mm -hmm. people who've had babies over nine pounds mm -hmm. and they have had have had high blood sugar um, in their blood mm -hmm. uh, while they while they were pregnant mm -hmm. um, normally when they are uh, through delivering the baby 
in the gestational diabetes has gone away. Mm -hmm. You don't see it anymore. But statistics have told us mm -hmm. that later on in years, mm -hmm. um, as they begin to grow and everything, uh, maybe about 50% of these individuals will develop mm -hmm. gestational, will develop diabetes mm -hmm. over time. Mm -hmm. So, so you're looking at three types. Mm -hmm. Now, some of the symptoms to these diseases mm -hmm. are as follows: you have now increased mm -hmm. uh, blurry vision, you mm -hmm. have an increase in thirst, you have frequent urination, mm -hmm. you have a numbness and tingling of feet, mm -hmm. you have a healing sores that won't won't heal, well, cuts and bruises that won't mm -hmm. heal. So, you know, we like to get herbal remedies and get mm -hmm. all these over-the-counter drug medications mm -hmm. to try and apply it on it. And if it doesn't work, we need to make sure we go to the physician. Mm -hmm. um, but those are just some of the uh, symptoms. Mm -hmm. um, if you find yourself experiencing some of those symptoms, go mm -hmm. see your doctor mm -hmm. because your doctor will be able to evaluate you by doing several tests, either a urine test mm -hmm. uh, to check for ketones or either a blood test, fasting or non-fasting, just to check mm -hmm. to see if you have a diabetes. Mm -hmm. If you are a person who has a family member that has diabetes. Um, I would definitely say you need to get the test. All the time the physicians do not just do the test, but sometimes, you know, you have to imp be the empowering p person in position mm -hmm. and say, you know what, doctor, I need you to check me for diabetes. Mm -hmm. And once you do that um, and he checks you, then you can find out whether or not you are living with it or because if you have a family member that is at risk or, or who has diabetes, then you are more likely to be at risk. And so your chance of developing diabetes over time has increased definitely. Would you say, uh, Ms. Green, then, that uh, because this family member has this disease, that perhaps the eating habits or the non-exercise habits and et cetera, of that person who has the disease might also be one of your problems. Is, is you, that a suggestion? You know what? With diabetes, only about 20% mm -hmm. of individuals develop diabetes um, through genetically. Good. Mm -hmm. 80%, mm -hmm. though, of those individuals mm -hmm. develop it through, um, and, and normally it's type 2 diabetes, mm -hmm. and they, they develop it through behavior. Mm -hmm. So you're saying, uh, what we're saying is your lack of exercise and mm -hmm. your, your diet, not eating correctly, mm -hmm. um, you not doing what you're supposed mm -hmm. to do from the onset could lead to mm -hmm. increased risk factor, but mm -hmm. yes, definitely, because you have a family member, a sibling, a mm -hmm. parent mm -hmm. that has it, you are more likely to be at risk. Mm -hmm. Now, it does not mean that you have to get it, mm -hmm. that you have to develop it, because sometimes when you find out this information, and that's mm -hmm. why it's so important to have us on, because you can educate and re-educate people, but mm -hmm. until they apply it to their mm -hmm. lives, mm -hmm. then it doesn't make a difference. Mm -hmm. Very good. And so, Ms. Green, we're getting ready for the uh, second commercial break here after which we'll come back and we'll give you an opportunity to uh, talk about some additional things. Okay. But what we're concerned about here, I think you've indicated uh, that uh, there are a large number of people who uh, do have diabetes, Definitely. but yet they might not know that they have diabetes and, they, and diabetes and it can only make it worse mm -hmm. for them rather than make it better. It's not going to get any better, it generally gets worse. Is that what we're saying? We are saying that over 18 million people have. And of course we'll talk about that when we come back after the second commercial break. We talked to Ms. Consuela.